All right, I got my, my new employee here. <laughs> First day on the job. Of course, we had to pick a 95 degree job and work in the sun. So not very smart, but uh, we'll keep an eye on them. Um, what we've done, we've basically squared up. What did we do, Elijah? We squared up this rack. We got it bolted down. It's really stiff. It was, everything was loose. And what we wanted to make sure is our diagonals were good. We got it within probably a 16th of an inch. And so it's nice and square. We've got our cantilevers planed out. With these seasonal adjust jacks, you can see those little jack handles under there. You can, you can plane it out really nice. So I think we've got the array the way we want. It's worth spending a little bit of extra time making sure it's not a parallelogram, but it's actually a nice square rectangle. Square rectangle, that's kind of an interesting term. Um, but the, uh, and then the cantilevers on the ends. And then we just go back through and tighten everything up. So it's locked down and ready. And we've got our panels over here, which is important to do. Measure your overall length of your purlins and then figure out where you want to start. So we like to, this is a 34 panel mount. So we take our panels, figure out their widths, and we know what the clamp width is in between. We can figure out exactly where our start is. It happens to be five and a half inches. I've already made a mark here. And so we'll start our first panel here. And what I like to do is set a, a dummy panel at the end to kind of eyeball the bottom edge. And I just eyeball it like I'm shooting a gun. I got my rear sight and my front sight on the corners of my panel. I line them up and go with it. A lot of people try to fight with measuring off of the purlins, and I don't go by the purlins. Just as long as your purlins are, are there's, everything's planed out and it's square, it's good enough. Now we're in a, we have a plane established that we're going to put these panels on that plane. How they're oriented is based on the eye. I just go by the eye, I don't set a string. I've done lots of these, so I go by the eye. So we're gonna see how much of an eagle eye Elijah is today. Oh, Lord. We put up our new panels. So we're gonna get going. That's our next step is paneling this thing. And why are we in, are in a hurry? Because we need some shade so we can work under behind it and we'll be, that's our goal. Okay, let's get some shade. Okay, our next step is to put the panels on. We set a solar panel over there. And what we try to do is again by eye, just line this edge up way down there. Just look down there. And if you're within a half inch, it's usually close enough. So you're just sighting that edge in. Don't go by the purlin. And we can start, you can do your math, depending on what length panel you have and centering it on your array. So we're hitting the center of these two purlins. So anyway, and then another trick as we're going along using these clamps, we like these, we use a little spring clamp as an extra set of hands to hold the mid clamps in place as we work our way along. Make sure you keep your stickers um, correct. However you're wiring it, in my case, they're both gonna go up for my paralleling. That works the best. No leapfrogging on this one. We're just gonna standard. We're gonna have two strings of nine, two strings of eight for 34 panels at 400 watts times 30. What'd I say? 400 times 34. So whatever that is, 12, eight. Um, yeah, so this is gonna be awesome. So just a little trip, I trick, just do this by eye, line that up by eye, saves you a lot of time trying to measure off purlins because the purlins do have a little wave to them because there's play in the bolts. Okay, the bottom row is on, came out really nice and centered. So Elijah did his math correctly, good job. And uh, now we're gonna put the second row on, but with a seasonal adjust, because it's so tall, these seven, 14 foot posts, we're gonna crank this thing level. You can get down to about 15 degrees, which will help us put this top row of panels on without having to kill ourselves lifting over the top. So we're gonna make that adjustment now with these hand cranks and we're gonna flatten her out. I try not to do more, I try to do about six cranks on each one in progression, in, in succession. So we're gonna crank it level. All right, so we're leveling this thing out. Elijah's taking it down. It'll go about 15 degrees. Really nice midsummer adjustment. All right, that should be about it. We might be able to get a little bit more, but we're flattening that baby out nicely. Yeah, 
It'll go 60 vertical and about 15 flat. Well, we had hoped to get all the panels up before the rain came. Didn't quite make it, but that's okay. We're just over halfway. But cows are coming to join us and I got good company today. <laughs> so we're just uh, contemplating the next move. But we're cooling off, aren't we? Oh yeah. We're gonna build our pull box and trench it down around there to my generator shed. Okay, we got rained out yesterday afternoon. We're back. In the meantime, the cows attacked the job site, ate my sombrero, and putting these uh, uh, ground mounts in a pasture, uh, mixing in with the livestock. They can get under it, provide shelter for them, a place to cool. It's uh, got a neat effect when you're under one of these. If there's any type of breeze, it'll be under here. Um, it just uh, gives them a nice shelter to get out from underneath the brutal sun. And uh, we are um, in the heat of the summer now, so they're loving it. They were under here yesterday. A lot of evidence here. We didn't quite finish. So let's finish this up. This is a 34 panel, 12, 13 kilowatt, a seasonal adjust ground mount that is doubling as a cattle shelter.